Good morning guys. Today is shoulders and arms day. Uh, as I have posted the legs and introductory video, uh, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but it took me about eight hours to load the video. So maybe I'm doing something wrong because I've not like done YouTube videos before, essentially. So but anyway, I'll try again today uh, and record shoulders and arms for you. And stay tuned. So first exercise was cable raises. This is the first exercise, so you want to do two warm-up sets first, not to failure. And then you want to do four sets on each arm. Don't go crazy in this one, just the first exercise. So the next exercise was seated lateral raises with the dumbbells. This shows the last set. You want to do four sets and on the last one you want to do your highest weight, finish the exercise and then as soon as you finish you drop it to a lighter weight. Again about 60% of the weight. Do this to fill the muscle with blood. High volume remember. So after prioritizing the lateral head, it's time to move on to the rear head. In the past I've always done presses first, like the common way used to do, but I've found this doesn't really work for me at all, so the lateral head first followed by rear head gives you a delta more round look, which is why I focus on them first and I do them before any of the presses. So this is the next exercise, followed by raises I think. exercise to make sure that your palms face towards your legs so you yeah, emphasize the contraction on the rear delt instead of your traps so this was the last deltoid exercise and then it was on to presses
like I said before, high volume. So after you've done the uh, tool pushes, I want you to superset onto close grip press. Four sets of this, every set do that. So one set is the skull pushes supersetted with the close press. This is to fill up with the muscle again. And to start with this, it'll get you it'll get you going really well for the rest of the session. So this superset here is a new one I've been trying out. I actually got this from Chris Jones from Physiques of Greatness, so shout out to him. On this one I want you to go backwards as far as you can and then do the usual rope pull down. After you've got 12 reps, or at least 10, you just go towards the weights and then put your hands together. This time don't pull them apart at the top of the rep. Squeeze at the bottom as many as you can. Do this just for the last set. This is my last set, set number four and this will be the finish of triceps. Set. I only showed the last set to save time on this one. This is my fourth and final set for the seated bicep curl. After you've done 10 reps on each arm to so 20 reps, drop the weight to about 60% and then go again, as many as you can get. Fill up with the muscle. bicep head and the brachialis are what make your arms look wide from the side so you may, you're going to make sure you do this exercise and keep your upper arm parallel to your body so you don't want it to, the only thing you want to be moving is your forearms otherwise you'll bring your shoulder into it so make sure this is as strict as you can get Okay, so that concludes shoulders and arms. Pretty good workout. I did do forearms at the end, um, but I didn't want to record it because I, I was scared of the video being too long because, as I said before, the video yesterday took eight hours to upload, something like that, something stupid. So I'm trying to condense this one a little bit and see how that goes. But as you can see, forearms have been done. I'll In the future, I'll do a forearm workout. And my plan is... Uh, the place I'm working at this year has a gym on site. So what I plan to do is use my lunch hour to do 
uh, muscle minorities, calves, abs, traps, uh, every other day in work with my lunch hour. And then at night, I'll do the compound movements, chest, back, legs, shoulders, etc. So, but more on that later anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And if you don't want to comment, if you don't happen to give a fuck on anything, then that's fine. If you do, leave me a note, tell me what to do. See you later.